Salutations everybody, it is Maddie here today, and Bethesda invited me to the closed beta for the upcoming expansion for Elder Scrolls Online, Somerset Isle. After playing it for a decent amount of time, I'm here to offer my impressions on it. The first thing I want to go into is the story. Sadly, I can't go into a crazy amount of detail because that's the one thing Bethesda requested that I don't get too spoilery with, and I understand that because quite honestly, out of everything I've experienced thus far, this is definitely the best part of the expansion. While lore knowledge feels like a must, I like the interesting interesting predicament presented as you enter the Somerset Isle. The borders are open thanks to an order from Queen Iren, and now the Altmer feel conflicted with having such a drastic change come to their lands. They're normally a very secluded people, they're keeping to themselves. All of a sudden, through an order from the Queen, the borders are open, tons of different races are coming in, they're confused, they're conflicted, and now there is a rebellion from the Kin Lady herself. And if I put myself in the shoes of the Altmer, I actually found myself understanding where they're coming from and trying to be a person who got in the middle of this situation and help both sides out. This expansion also features the return of Razum Dur, who remains one of my favorite ESO characters personally. I'm sure a lot of you guys remember him from the base game. He is back here, and he's still as awesome as ever. It's just something with Khajiits, man. I don't know. I love them, though. One thing I did notice while exploring the Somerset Isle is that the world space is more active. I noticed that there's a lot more NPC chatter, events, it felt like a living, breathing world in many ways when I was inside the cities. That's something I haven't felt in an MMO in general, and Elder Scrolls Online is included in that list. So this is a great change of pace because that's one thing that made the Elder Scrolls games in general feel alive. Hearing murmurs of what people think about newcomers to the Somerset being taken in and having their suitability tested as to whether or not they can be productive members of a society, it's a very cool premise, and the way that the world builds on that, it works very well. You can clearly see that ZeniMax Online Studios had a space that they could truly create their own story in, and they took full advantage of it, where I personally felt that the nostalgia of Morrowind limited a lot of their creative vision. While it was a good expansion, I felt it could have been a lot better in many ways. So seeing the world react to the idea of, is it in everyone's best interest to remain isolated is very cool. And it carries on to the Sigic Order, which is a brand new guild added to the Elder Scrolls Online. It actually comes with a whole new skill set, including abilities like Time Stop, Meditate, undo. The Sigic Order even has its own story and quest line, and quite honestly, I found them also a very interesting addition. What's interesting about them is seeing how the Sigics rebelled against certain trends as the land changed and were keepers of the old ways. They settled on their own island, they stay away from the corruption of society, but then some people inside the Sigic Order believe that they should expand, and that's where you come in as a newcomer. It's good stuff, and the addition of a skill line definitely entices players to get involved. Also on top of that, I think this is a reaction to how a lot of people really enjoyed the new Warden class that was added with Elder Scrolls Online Morrowind, so I feel ZOS was compelled to add yet another type of skill set or something the player could mess around with in the terms of gameplay when buying this expansion. I don't know if this is definitely good for new players because as I am personally playing through Oblivion, I'm playing more Elder Scrolls Online, I'm trying to learn more about the Elder Scrolls lore personally as an interest, and I just don't see this being a good hopping in point because the only reason I find this story interesting is because of my intrigue in the lore of the Elder Scrolls universe. Especially since the dialogue feels more vital than ever thanks to a lack of familiarity in Somerset. We haven't been here since Elder Scrolls Arena, so this really is all ZOS's creative space. Somerset in general also, I have to add, is beautiful. I've always found Elder Scrolls Online to be one of the more pretty MMOs, but I feel like the architecture really stands out here. It has a very Greek look to it, and with its mixture of colors with the grass and the different types of trees, I was actually getting a Witcher 3 blood and wine feel to it for some reason. It's just a very rich area to explore, not only in the terms of content as there's a lot of good side quests, but also on top of that, it's pretty to look at, which is always nice. And last but certainly not least, you're able to craft jewelry. That's a new skill line that was added. I personally didn't get to test this much because my character's not much of a crafter. I've played a decent amount of Elder Scrolls Online, but not enough to get fine-tuned in those certain skill sets. But that's still something that's being added, and I apparently have heard that a lot of long-term players have been wanting something like this, and I was quite surprised to find out that this wasn't something in the game in the first place. So far, I'm enjoying the story. I like the addition of the Sigic Order. It's an interesting guild that's fun to dive into. Side quests are plentiful. There's obviously new delves. There's new trials that you can partake in with other players. The one Tamriel update makes this accessible. So if you are a person who is currently playing Elder Scrolls Online, 
a high level and then a friend comes in you guys can play together so keep that in mind if you're convincing someone to pick this up and overall this is definitely a expansion that I think you guys should look forward to if you're into ESO if you're looking to get into ESO for the first time and you do have a decent amount of lore knowledge definitely keep your eyes on this. I have to say, I'm walking out of this a lot more optimistic than ESO Morrowind, which is something that if you told me over a year ago, I wouldn't have really agreed with you or expected that. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Elder Scrolls Online Somerset. Let me know if you have any questions on this in the comments down below. In case I didn't answer anything for you guys, I'll try my best to get back to you, and I'll catch you in the next video. Be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content we create here. Stay sexy, stay active, I love you all, peace.